Hey, what is up guys? This is Hackjoid and I have the LG F6 right here. And on this video, I'm going to be making a top 5 count of the best ROMs for the LG F6. These ROMs are going to be categorized by stability only, okay? Not for features and all, all that stuff, only stability. So let's start. Now number 5, we have Sana Gemore 11 on official bill made by HRogue13 and some some other developers and you know I, I really love Sana Mode. I think it's one of the best ROMs out there like for every phone but this one it has everything and like every all the features and stuff the the camera works on some devices uh, some people report that on some devices the camera is not working on this one it is and the G apps they they all they they all work. I have the small version, so I don't have Google Plus and stuff like that. But you know, like all the stuff works. For example, Torch, like that. Um, the the music app also works. Let me put a song really quick to show you. Actually, it's really loud. It's really really loud and the equalizer also works and put it to this one right now. As you can see, the music app, the equalizer, everything works. And all the apps and stuff. But the thing is, um, it has a lot of bugs with the system. It's not with the apps and stuff. You know, the camera works, everything. But sometimes when when I, I press the power key and I lock it up like that, uh, sometimes the, the keys, like the, the keys right here, they're going to they're gonna turn, turn on. But the screen is not going to turn on, you know, it's going to like freeze or stuff. And then if I keep like trying to press it, it's going to reboot. And sometimes when it reboots, it's going to give me a kernel panic. Maybe I can put a picture right here so you can see how it looks like. And the last one, the last thing that really bugs me is the volume. When you make a call, it's really, really low. Um, Let me see if I can can put it the volume is really really low so that's something that I don't like that's that's why it's number five so random reboot as you can see right there that's number five so now let's go to the next ROM and on number four we have AOKP this this one is basically like Cyanogen mode if you haven't used AOKP before it's really awesome it's AOSP, but the thing that makes it really, really special is this option right here on the settings. And you can have a bunch of customization, you know, a lot. It's really awesome. But the reason why it's only number five is because it has some bugs. The first one is the LED right here, but it can be fixed with this app called Root Dim. It's really easy to fix. So I think that one doesn't count. And another bug is random reboots, just like Cyanogen mode. But this one is number four, cause it doesn't happen that often, like Cyanogen mode. And I haven't run into any kernel panic like this one. And just like Cyanogen mode, I think every AOSP RAM has this problem. And uh, the volume when you make a call is really, really low. Let me see if I can make one. As you can see right there, I was on speaker and it was really, really low. And when I'm not on speaker, it's even lower. I can't even hear it. I only talk on speaker, but it's really, really low. So I really hate that. And that's the reason why it's number four. So here we are with the next ROM. And this one is called, it's called LGF6. European version port or something like that. 
It was made by HROG13 from the European version of the LG F6 and on this one everything works. I really love this one, you know, the, the quick memo works, let me show you, um, yeah, works, I love it, and also the Q remote, or um, something like that, yeah, quick remote, um, it also works, let me see, see, it works perfectly, I really love this ROM, you know, I would, I would, I would put it on number one because it's KitKat, you know, it's not the Jelly Bean anymore. But the only downside is that sometimes it gets really slow. I don't even know why, but this ROM is almost perfect, almost perfect. It has KitKat, the quick remote works, quick memo and everything. The camera, it doesn't have the LG camera, it has, it has the AOSP and the browser is the same, AOSP. So that's my review for this one. Now let's get to the next one. For number two, we have this ROM called Dana Aroma ROM. It's pretty much like a stock ROM, but the difference is that you can select whatever you want, whatever launcher you want, whatever keyboard on recovery. You're gonna have a little menu like this one that it shows you um, a lot of options and you can install the LG home screen the launcher or with the themes and everything and what I like about this is that it has all the features done on 12b like Metro PCS version 12b so this is it now let's get to the next ROM and on number one we have Experian ROM this ROM is really really stable actually I, I haven't had any crashes yet so everything works the camera and everything but the thing is it's still on jelly bean it looks like KitKat the status bar is white it's not transparent but you can change it with gravity box and you can get Google launcher okay so this ROM has a really really heavy customized UI as you can see right there is based on the stock RAM, the 12B version, so you can flash um, Freedom Kernel on this one and overclock it to 1.4. I have a video right here on how to overclock it. And yeah, the UI is really customized, as you can see, but actually it looks really, really cool. And even the settings, they're white. And the thing is, it's, on, it's still on Jelly Bean. Let me show you. Still Jolly Bean. So yeah, as you can see right there, it's based on 12B version right there. So it's basically like stock, but it's, it's already uh, customized. Like the music app, it doesn't come with the stock music app. It comes with Apollo. And that means it also comes with the, with the equalizer right here and they all they all work it also comes with with the clock the stock one um some apps have been removed like all the bloodware and stuff like metro pcs apps and t-mobile apps but that's pretty much it you know they added some wallpapers right here we can see like stock android but it's not really stock android but even though it looks really cool, the problem with this UI is is that science is kind of heavy. I think you're gonna you're gonna have a problem like touch with. You know, touch with really heavy, and it makes the phone kind of slow. But it's not that much, you know. This RAM is the best of all, you know. If you want Jelly Bean and you want a really stable ROM, this one is the one for you. But if you want KitKat, the third one, the KitKat port is the best one, the best choice. It's the most stable one. So that's it. So there you have it guys. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Peace out.